What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Tonight we have our very first Smackdown Live review for you guys and of course it will be with WWE figures. I'm going to sit here just like I did last night with Raw 25. I'm going to be reviewing tonight's episode of Smackdown Live so let's go ahead and get started. So the show opens up with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in the ring. They come down, they talk about the Royal Rumble, how they will be the first ever WWE co-champions. You know, talking about the Royal Rumble, blah, blah, blah. Hitting on AJ Styles and then ding, music hits. Out comes the phenomenal one onto the stage. Cuts his own little promo there. They go back and forth a little bit. And then out comes the general manager, Daniel Bryan, to the scene. And somehow it gets brought up that AJ wants to beat them in the same night and that he can. So he challenge, challenges both of them to a singles match tonight on SmackDown Live. And he fights Kevin Owens first. And then after that match is... A, Immediately over, Sami Zayn's match with AJ will begin, so that is how we are dealt for the start of the show. So we come back from commercial break, and it is Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon talking backstage. You know, Shane questions Daniel Bryan's antics like he always does, like he's been doing the past few weeks. You know, Daniel Bryan says, um, do you question AJ Styles' ability to beat both in the same night? And he tells Shane that that was not his plan for AJ to, you know, fight Sammy and Kevin both tonight um, leading up to the Royal Rumble and that he promises him that that was not his plan and that Shane, um, what is, you know, he's like, uh, how do you expect me to believe you, whatever. And then um, he then says that he wasn't questioning AJ Styles' ability, but he pretty much hinted at that he was questioning Daniel Bryan's ability to be a GM. So that was this little moment. The crowd got a nice little pop out of that, you know, reacting, and it was pretty nice. Next up, we had our first match of the night. It was Jay Uso taking on Chad Gable. Solid matchup, nothing special. I do like these guys' chemistry, and I bet that these guys are going to tear the house down at the Royal Rumble in their two out of three falls match for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. I think that both of these teams are very talented. Definitely the best two teams, in my opinion, on SmackDown Live as far as in-ring ability. And I think that all four men, the Usos, Shelton Benjamin, and Chad Gable, are going to absolutely kill it at the Royal Rumble. But um, Gable did pick up the win here in a decent little matchup to start off the show. Come back from the commercial and Ty Dillinger is on the screen and he declares that he is entering the Royal Rumble. And I don't really know if anybody cares besides the fans of Ty Dillinger because this man has not been used at all really. You know, he talks about last year's Royal Rumble and um, he's for sure not going to win. I wouldn't be surprised if he came out at 10 again. I like Ty Dillinger, but his booking has just been all over the place. We come back and we have our second matchup of the night, Naomi taking on Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan was wearing these dope AF MDT zebra print and pink pants. I thought they were awesome. Um, Riot Squad was at ringside. Becky Lynch comes down the ramp during the matchup. I think this was just to make sure that Riot Squad didn't try anything in the matchup. Um, Naomi does end up winning this matchup. Nothing special. Just a crappy women's match on SmackDown Live. And um, all the women in the on the roster pretty much surround the ring. Riot Squad attacks Naomi from behind. And then Becky comes in to save the day um, to help her fellow face out. And then... Um, Natalia makes her way into the ring, and then Lana makes her way into the ring. And then um, Natalia proceeds to throw Lana over the top rope, and it looked awful. Like, she took it so terrible, and it just looked very, I don't know. It was like she was struggling so hard to get her over the top rope. I, I don't know what they're going to do to Nia Jax. My God. On Sunday, that Women's Royal Rumble, I am scared to death of that matchup. I just am not looking forward to it. I think it's going to be just weird. But um, I hope I'm wrong. But Becky proceeds to throw Naomi over the top rope. Naomi does not go over the top rope. She lands on the apron. Then out comes the Queen, Charlotte. And she cuts a promo. And this figure never likes to stand. And I'm not going to redo the take. So there she is. Charlotte cuts the promo. You know, states every woman for herself on Sunday. Friendships and alliances do not matter when you're facing the Queen at WrestleMania. Good luck to the winner. Hits the woo, and that is pretty much it for this segment. Um, I am just not hyped for this Women's Royal Rumble. I hope that I'm wrong. I hope it kicks A, but I am very much worried about it. 
Then we go to an interview area. We got Shinsuke Nakamura and Baron Corbin talking some trash. They would end up having a match next. Um, typical SmackDown match to start off. You know, it starts heating up towards the end. I thought it was pretty good towards the end. Um, Trash Corbin um, looking pretty decent in this matchup. Shinsuke Nakamura looking pretty decent in this matchup. And then out of nowhere comes the freaking Viper. You know, Shinsuke Nakamura about to lay out this Kinshasa. And then, bam, Randy freaking Orton. I love this man so much. Absolute beast. My second favorite wrestler of all time. Hits him with the RKO. Baron Corbin comes in there for the end of days. He misses. He gets RKO'd. And it is Randy Orton standing tall. I love this. Every time he hits an RKO out of nowhere, I just absolutely love it. It freaking gives me giggles every single time. But um, I thought this was awesome. I don't think this was a heel turn. Um, it would be awesome if this led to a heel turn. However, um... I thought this was a really cool way to end the match, I guess. It was just, you know, forging ahead with that every man for himself on Sunday in the Royal Rumble, regardless of who is who and everything. But I did enjoy the ending to that matchup. New Day makes their way to the ring, you know, with their pancakes and such. Then out comes the glorious United States champion, Bobby Roode, to the ring. And I thought this was odd that they're interacting with him. You know, Xavier Woods was in that United States championship match. And then he's just interacting with the United States Championship like, uh, you know, or the United States Champion like nothing happened. I don't know. That was just a little weird to me. Out next would come the modern day Maharaja. And that would be Jinder Mahal coming out to the ring. And of course, you already know, Brad, we are getting a six-man tag team match between two members of the New Day and Bobby Roode taking on Jinder Mahal. And the amazing Rusev Day. So we had Rusev coming out with Aiden English right here. If I can fit them all in the frame here. But um, yes, this was just a very stale six-man tag team match. Just nothing impressive. I'm so sick of six-man tag team matches on both brands. Please stop with the six-man tag teams. Uh, men, women, don't care. But New Day and Rude make quick work of Rusev Day and Jinder Mahal. It really annoys me what they're doing to Rusev Day. Hopefully, you know, the rumor is that they're supposed to be giving Rusev a big push very soon. So hopefully that comes because they have not given them a win. They keep losing all the time. But yeah, six-man tag team match. On to our double main event. We had AJ Styles taking on Kevin Owens. AJ comes out ready for business. I love this. He skipped part of his entrance. He comes straight to the ring, ready to freaking race hell. I love that so much. It was awesome. Out comes, here comes the money, Shane McMahon, and he tells Kevin Owens. He actually said, um, he actually said Kevin's Owen. He said he'll fire Sami Zayn if he comes near the ring for Kevin's Owen match instead of Kevin Owens match. And then he said he'd do the same to Kevin Owens during Sami's match. So um, that was the big thing there. He would fire them and they would lose their opportunity at the WWE title if they interfered in the match. So um, AJ makes really quick work of Kevin Owens. You know, he like barely even a match really. Locks in the calf crusher to KO. Immediately taps out. You know, he's working the leg. AJ's music hits. And then as soon as AJ's music hits... Out comes Sami Zayn, and he totally jumps AJ Styles, and I really love this match. This match was very enjoyable to me. Um, I thought both men looked really, really good. Of course, they're two of the best in-ring workers in the company, but um, love the match. Very enjoyable. Um, the ending was really cool. You know, throughout the match, Kevin Owens is on the outside holding his leg, and a bunch of, you know, doctors and medical staff are coming out there to check on him. And throughout the match, AJ would go out there and hit him in the leg and attack him, and he knocked him off a stretcher at one point, and it was just a really cool um, little spot there. And then um, near the end, AJ goes out there, and he beats him up one more time. I think that's when the stretcher spot happened. He rolls back into the ring, and as soon as he gets into the ring, he is hit with a freaking hellacious halluva kick blue thunder bomb one two three Sami Zayn pins the wwe champion aj styles middle of the ring and i gotta say i love when Sami Zayn ends matches with a blue thunder bomb i love that move i think he does it beautifully you know aj sold it beautifully and i just wanted to add that in there but aj styles is defeated and the um cami as aj styles likes to say is standing tall to end of smackdown live right there so kevin owens and Sami Zayn close the show 
over AJ Styles. That was the entire SmackDown Live show, guys. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this review. Let me know down below. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below what you thought of SmackDown Live and this review of the show. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.